Welcome back everyone, I'm Mihael, and today's reaction video is Sword Online Season 3 Episode 6, I can't wait to start it. We know Asuna is freaking mad. She's angry. She wants to freaking beat up someone and she doesn't know who to throw her anger at. But right now, it looks like she found Kirito. And I wonder if she going to go under the wrath machine to go help Kirito. That's one of the things I, I want I want to see, but I'm not sure. I think I don't I just don't know how many machines they have. All I know, maybe just have one and only Kirito could be in it. So who knows? But besides that, I'm excited to watch this. Let's do it. Let's find out what's going to happen. I want to finally finish the damn season before I get spoiled. Definitely, I took way too long to watch this anime because season one was amazing. I should have freaking watched it when it first came out. But now I'm here watching it. Take me to Kirito. She looks really, really mad. I mean, I don't, I don't blame her. Because if someone tricked me like that, saying, oh, we'll save the love of your life or save your mother or save your brother, whoever it is. And then you go to the hospital just to be told, like, oh, he's not in here. I'll freak out. I mean, I'll freaking get so mad. But, you know, at least her and Yui, I think that's her name, Yui. She's, they're so lucky to have Yui because if they never had her, they would never find Kirito. She's a smart, smart AI, so... They're so lucky to have her. I told you your boy was the biggest threat to this project, security. I know. You don't have to rub it in. Is Kirito even safe here? No, they they should rub it in. <laughs> they should rub it in because she's like a high school kid that was able to find his like hidden area. So that means like how many other people could find that out? Because if a, someone in high school could find out, I'm sure other people can. So looks like gonna be some big trouble going on later on Kanemoto injected a potent toxin into him it damaged Kirito's brain so much conventional treatment can't heal it but that's just so crazy a poison that in five minutes or in five minutes it just scrambled your brain man poor Kirito that's so messed up so basically he's almost brain dead I guess or, or he's he turns into a vegetable that's so messed up. Why would people go that far to do something? Like, I don't know. Man. That's just... Poor Kirito. And the only place with that machine would be his lab. I'm sure he told you about it. He used the STL to stimulate his flux light. We can regenerate a brand new, perfectly healthy neural network. That's amazing uh, technology there. So it could be for anyone who turned brain dead or paralyzed maybe you could regrowth their their brain nervous system and rebuilt it damn yeah it reads soul oh flux light is his toxin and allows the user to dive into a virtual world of his incredible wealth that's correct i wonder what makes it real is because they grabbed your flux light or it's the system they built so i wonder what makes it what makes it real i think it's the soul they use because if they grab by a soul, it's like the main system. Because the VR, you have your soul and your soul transmit to your brain. And then the VR controls the brain part of it. So it's always one step away from the real deal. So I, 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 I guess that's why it feels so real. Because it's basically connected straight to your soul. The highest power. So AI is pretty much what Yui is. I mean, she's a super computer, I think, for to like access computers and everything, and then mention ideas to Asana. That's some crazy AI power there. That's crazy. A hundred billion cells in your brain. I don't know that's true facts, but in SEO. Sword Online, a hundred billion. Damn. We already copy the human soul. So who's the soul they copy? So 
So it's, that's the fluck lick they copy. It sounds like the the computer guy. I don't remember his name. That's just so messed up because if you copy your soul, how your soul knows it's a copy of itself. It's like the real you told you, oh, you're a copy. That's so messed up. Even though he's a copy doesn't mean he's less important than you. Because I think they rank it by body, right? If you don't have a human body, then you're not as real. But this is still just a really creepy uh, idea. Man, he just overloaded. All right, that was beyond twisted. Asuna, Asuna is about to throw over something. It was just disgusting what she was looking at. Because they like Yui. Yui's AI and they have a lot of feelings to the AI. And she's not even a fluck late. We put newborns into the SPS and copied their souls. No, really. Why would they do that? That's just so... I feel like, like, I feel like it's so wrong. Yo, they're just trying to mimic the life, like how the real world, real world is. So what does it make it, like, the world they live in, how they know they're not being controlled with the higher power of just trying to mimic their world, and it's like a never-ending cycle. That's just, wow. The taboo index. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sounds cooler than, than the laws we have here. The taboo index. It's pretty cool. It really can't be him anymore. He won't arrive this time. So what you're gonna raise them as little babies till they're like till they get older and just to make them fight? This project is about creating AI for warfare. Isn't it? But what happens when they die? They blow up. You just make another copy. It's like a never ending fight, a never ending war. I just feel like he's Kiyogaya is like a bad guy. That's how I feel. But when you think about it, maybe there's worse guys out there than him. Yeah, that's right. Freaking having a war right now. Russia against Ukraine. So sad. Damn right, Kyuto wouldn't do it. If they care about AI so much like Yui... This is even more real. That's like, it's like real life. Like, there's a real soul. It's so fucked up. Imagine you're a baby and they clone you as a baby. Oh, well, she knows her boyfriend better than you, Kiyokaya. Get out of here. Damn. Kido just said he was gone for weeks or sometimes maybe gone for months. He never knew he was gone for years, years, damn, whole different life somewhere else. Mr. Hester disobeying the taboo index. He chose to do it, and that's what they're looking for. Okay, you're gonna use uh Flucklight souls to fight wars and then for them to make their own choice. Like how would they why would they fight your own war if they can make their own choice? Only if they override them, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. No, man, that's like a coincidence. That's such a close coincidence. Out of one of the hundred thousands or wherever, freaking Alice, the name Alice goes with their name, their code name or wherever. Man, that's no coincidence. Oh, so she never got, Alice never got executed. So she's still alive, a trick. And she looks like that one... Uh, night in the trailer. It looks like her. The hair and everything. The blue eyes. And the opening song I was talking about. The, the beginning. Oh, they know how to edit their characters pretty cute. I just can't wait when we're in that level in VR. Where you put the VR on it and it connects to your brain. That will be so much fun. Oh. She's a nurse from the hospital. Wow. Oh, self-defense. I wonder if she could do hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
to protect Kirito. Oh, poor Asuna. She can't do nothing. I know that feeling. I like Asuna braid that goes around her hair. That's pretty. Looks really interesting. I like it. That's so sad. I mean, he built that world trying to find the answer to his life, maybe? I don't know. But what he did is so... feels so evil, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know how to explain it. He's just trying to create his own world. But the only way to create his own world, he did it, but how can you make it real? More... I guess that's why he connect people in a way where if they die, they die in real life. It doesn't have that real feel. I don't know. You went because you wanted to kill him. Damn, she was gonna kill him. She probably would have saved thousands of lives. What I'm trying to say is, Kaiba created a world where he made real people join. So if they die, make it feel more real to him. Like I, I, I don't understand because why he, why he couldn't do it to himself. Why he couldn't just fought the level by himself where he can die and he's fighting, you know, high level monsters. Why he had to make, you know, a thousand people to join to do what he did. So it's like what he's, what he's like what he's trying to do. I feel like because the first season, the information that he gave us, he was holding back. There's something more bigger going on and we just don't know about it. I mean, it's a little selfish, but that's like one of the best moments, like she said, and that's when she met Kirito. If that never happened, she would never meet Kirito. So it's like, can you really blame Kaiba in the end? Yo, that was real. Was that really her? Like, it really happened? Damn. What if he is alive? We have a clone is able to connect to a artificial body. I learned quite a few during this episode. A little, it, it was a little slow, but I felt like it built some connection between Kirito and Asuna. You know, the lovey dovey scene where Asuna is like have her hand on the window looking at Kirito and really worry about him. I wouldn't blame her. I'd be so worried. I feel like. She needs to do more. <laughs> That's how I feel. And she's probably thinking the same thing. She's probably thinking like, man, how can I help Kirito? Like, how can I, like, like help him? And it's just hard to see. Sometimes you can't help someone and you just have to bear the pain until she sees the opportunity that she can help Kirito. But right now, she's just hopeless and it's very sad to see. I'm being patient and I'm slowly feel. I, I feel like I need to watch like a fighting scene. <laughs> I need to see like something going on, you know, with Kirito or Yu-Gi-Oh getting into some trouble. So I feel like it needs some of that to mix up with these kind of type of episodes where not much is going on, but you, I'm sure I'm I'm learning a lot more about the fluck lay and how the world works. So it's very interesting. Thank you for watching. That's the end of my vi Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my tongue? Thank you for watching. This is the end of my video. And one more thing. If you go right down in the comments below, let me know what makes a reaction video or review video good for you. I'm just in a dilemma trying to figure out what can I improve for my video. So I'm just curious. Thank you guys. Bye. Like and subscribe if you want to follow on my journey watching Sword Online.